Assalamualaikum and good day. We meet again in the fourth part of heat treatment of ferrous metal. In this video, we will look at spherodizing. In the first part, we already look at introduction to heat treatment of ferrous metal. In second part, we look at the first type of heat treatment, which is annealing. The third video, we look at normalizing. And in this fourth part or the fourth video, we will look at spherodizing. So what is the purpose of doing spherodizing? It is used for medium and high carbon steel where the carbon content is higher than 0.6% of carbon that will be machined or coal formed. Medium and high carbon steel is hard to conveniently machine or plastically deform, even having a microstructure of coarse perlite, which is the softest microstructure in our TTT diagram. Sparodizing is applied when more softness is needed. It is used to improve the properties, toughness, of medium and high carbon steel prior to machining or coal working. With the increase of carbon content in iron, it also increases the hardness of the steel, but in the same time, it also increases in brittleness of the steel. The process on doing spherodizing, the first step is heat the Part to a temperature just below the eutectoid temperature or just below the line A1 at 727 degrees Celsius or at about 700 degrees Celsius in the cementite region for several hours, about 20 hours or more and followed by slow cooling. Now we look at this figure. You can see that the temperature of sparodizing is around here below the A1 line. We heat up our steel until this temperature and then we let it be at this temperature for more than 20 hours so that the microstructure turn into sparodite. After that we cool it down slowly. So the microstructure produced after spherodizing process is cementite transformed into soft globe or spheroid which disperse through the ferrite matrix. Structure will now be spherodite in which the iron carbide has balled up or formed into soft globes. The rate at which spherodite form depend on prior microstructure. For example, the spherodite form a bit slower for perlite and finer the perlite increase its rate of transform to spherodite. So the properties it is result in more ductile material. It will improve machining in continuous operation such as lathe and screw machine. This steroid act as chip breaker to make it easy to machining process. You can pause this video and look at the microstructure of steroid in this slide. So the effect of treatment, fine polite versus Cause perlite versus spherodite. For hardness, fine perlite is harder than coarse perlite, and coarse perlite is harder than spherodite. For ductility, fine perlite is less ductile than coarse perlite, coarse perlite is less ductile than spherodite. You can pause this video to read on this slide about the summary on slow cool process of heat treatment. For slow cool process, we have 
annealing where we have the type of annealing is full annealing and process annealing and then another heat treatment we have normalizing and spherodizing please remember spherodizing and normalizing is not types of annealing but there are put in this slide to show you the difference between normalizing spherodizing and annealing that's all a little bit on spherodizing heat treatment in next video we will look at hardening process till we meet again thank you have a good day